Okay, a lot of news for Stellar. We're going to go through it. Uh, Jesse Lund uh, just left IBM. We're going to get to that. First, I want to go through there, a, a video that just got released uh, May 24th. Jed McCaleb talking. We're gonna first. We're gonna listen to some good news. There's a few clips here that sounds like good news, and then I'm gonna talk about why. You know, where's the numbers to back up the good news, and that concerns me. We'll talk about it, and then we'll get to Jesse Lund and IBM. Okay, uh, first first clip here. Uh, thanks so much for coming out. I'm super excited that everyone's here. It's been a pretty exciting last few months for SDF. We've essentially doubled in size. Uh, we got a new executive director. There's a lot. Of of stuff we're working on both the technical front and, and the partnership front so it should be a pretty good doubled in size so where where is he getting what doubled i don't know if he's talking about you know the number of people who work at stellar the number of what but as far as like transactions i i, I want to get to this in a, i was going to get to this next but st uh, uh, maybe i'll 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 spoil it now, we're going to get to it where I'm not seeing the statistics that show doubling. I don't know what he's talking about. Like I said, who knows what doubled exactly, but I, I don't see the numbers to back that up. But, I'm, you know, he said it sounds good. And there's more to give me some confidence that things are good. Here's another one. Any long-term planning for this because I'm watching the growth and it's, it's uh, getting pretty crazy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the main thing the core team is focused on now is, is how we handle growth, right? Um, and uh, there's actually one of the things that was also in Protocol 11 is is doing just that. It's like actually much more efficient than before. There's there's some change. So, you know, he says that growth is crazy. This guy in the audience, he says, yeah, all we're working on is scaling. So that tells me there's growth. But again, where can I see the numbers to back this up? I did a video a few weeks ago, how to take it down, because Stellar updated their, um, their reporting. And I'm going to go through that. But with the new reports, I'm not seeing growth. So, okay, but I'm happy he said it and they're talking about their, that's all they're working on. So I guess it's growing. And we got one more. Of quality and like the, what's being built on the platform has just like gone up dramatically. So right. I, I'm just, I'm just super excited. And like most of the people here are like building stuff on Stellar, which is super awesome. Uh, so, you know, it's just great to see, like not just me, from, everyone on the team sees like the energy and the ecosystem is just increasing and it, it's, it's, it's awesome. So there's a lot happening, a lot being built. The energy is growing. Okay. Sounds good. But again, I don't see the numbers. Where is this coming from? And, and how do we know? So a lot's being built. That sounds like a hard statistic, but, um, so we'll get to that again. So these, I'm just reading off. These are the good things that came out of this this video and I got one more good news. Uh, Protocol 11 has a lot of, uh, you know, bug fixes and like, like minor things. The major, the major things that it does is it changes the way fees are handled. Okay, so he goes into details. You know, they just upgraded the software. Now there was an issue a while ago uh, where it's, Stellar went down for a number of hours. Now, again, you know, a way I, one of the things I thought about at first with this, and it's gonna sound ironic to you is, this is good news, right? Growing pains. I like to see growing pains. And it, it sort of smelt like that. This is, so first of all, the people say Stellar is not decentralized. It is decentralized. I don't think I want to get into the weeds on that. I'm not worried about it being non-decentralized. And it's not, they're not done. It's early in the business. I'm not saying there's no way to attack Stellar, but I, it, it, I'm not worried about the decentralization of Stellar. The uh, outage they had was not a result of, you know, it was not a problem with the consensus algorithm, sort of worked as, as it's supposed to work, but they realized they need to make some changes so that this problem doesn't happen again. They made a lot of changes for that. I don't know if that was just a coincidence that they have all these other upgrades that just happened. So again, this is good news. There's activities, there's upgrades, they're improving the performance. That's all great. Now let's get to why I'm not that excited because I'm not seeing the numbers to back it up. I don't like believing words from anybody and I, I don't have any reason to not trust uh, Jed or these people in the audience, but still I want to see numbers. So I made a video a couple weeks ago. So this was this Stellar Expert. Here is now Stellar Expert. They upgraded it. And what I was looking at is now gone. So here we were seeing payments and growth in payments 
And now that I'm thinking about it, maybe this is what the issue is, is that that is what doubled. Remember, if you saw my old video, payments per month in April did double uh, to 2 million. And then I was looking at this. So now I was like, well, I'm not seeing anything doubling here, right? Here's uh, but now, but then I look closer, it's new assets. That's not even payments. I don't know what new assets is. I don't know. I don't even know what this is. And I'm not seeing growth, right? I mean, uh, well, here's growth here from 2018. But since 2018, and this is this is May, I don't know, May's smaller than, oh, this is per quarter. Okay, so that doesn't, uh, uh, here's, here's month to month. What is this? This is May. Is this May? 513. I guess they do it by half months. I, you know, bottom line, I don't even know what this is. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Um, and then there's another, this one here. You know, this only shows uh, transactions operation the last 30 days. Okay. I mean, but I'm not seeing great growth here. It's only 30 days. So maybe the month before was half of this. I, I, I don't know. But again, I, this is not that exciting. But I can't see further. So I guess, you know, <laughs> the reality is these people are talking about it's great. Um, but how, do, how can I, how can we see this with numbers? I'm not seeing that anywhere. Um, what else do we have on? I've got some more. Okay, here's, a, here's a, okay. So now here's some of the negative news word wise. So let's listen to this one first. Water is obviously pretty exciting. We've we've had lots of people approach us and and mainly IBM about wanting to get on the WorldWire platform. Uh, you know we're super excited to have that become live, uh, and we're working with them to 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 make that a reality. So, well, I don't understand what he's talking about. We're working with IBM to make it live. I mean, I thought WorldWire was tested for two years and then they simply opened it up to everybody about a month ago um you know let's see ibm worldwire what do you mean make it live i thought this thing is very live ibm worldwire they launched um 72 countries 47 countries uh, isn't it worldwire is here so what is he talking about you know, I don't know. Maybe he's talking about some feature within it or making it easier. So I don't know. I, I didn't like hearing that. And also just, and I'm, maybe I'm over reading into it, but w watch his facial expression when he mentions IBM. On the WorldWire platform, uh, you know, we're super excited to have that become live. Uh, and we're working with them to, to, to make that a reality. Yeah. We're working with them. <laughs> it was just like working with IBM and like, you know, it's IBM. Now, I love that IBM is a partner here, but at the same time, IBM, it's not like every, IBM's never failed before. So a little concerned. And then here's another uh, concern on IBM. Using crypto exchanges, but it, but it uh, it is using the public network. So it, it isn't like a separate network or anything like that. So it's using the public seller network. And uh, it, it's, you know, they're still parts of it are still being developed i'm pushing them to use the actual stellar decks as the, for the way that they're doing the currency conversion right now they're doing it internally uh but it's still the value is moving across the public so <laughs> this sounds like he's saying so the whole point of the stellar network is using this public network to quickly exchange the the assets and it sounds like he's saying ibm isn't actually using it they're doing it internally to do the trades, which I don't know that that is concerning. You know, this is this a typical big company slash IBM thing. It's like, oh, we want to do it, but oh, we want to do it ourselves and we have our old system and we don't want to get off the old system. You know, I don't know. I don't like hearing that. I don't and I'm not sure what that means. Right. Why is IBM? using stellar for international payments but they're not using stellar for the for the actual transfer of payments they're doing it internally using what and i don't know that again so that's somewhat of a concern at least with the ibm thing if transactions and payments have doubled great but it, it maybe ibm uh you know is not is not where the growth is coming from 
which leads us to, uh, wait, did I have another? Yeah, we did that. Okay. Which leads us to Jesse Lund leaving. Now, I saw something on Twitter. It was like, Jesse Lund leaving, sell stellar. Like, really? I'm not sure Jesse Lund leaving is a bad thing. I've had concerns about Jesse Lund, um, you know, for a while. I don't like that, um, you know, so Jesse Lund, first of all, I, what does he do? I, I don't know. I've never been able to understand what he's doing. And when he, he, he's not very communicative. I've had a lot of these questions of what is going on for a long time. I don't get any answers. And I, you know, tweet Jesse Lund. He's not replying to me. I don't know. I might not be on at the top of his list or something. I get it. But um, we don't hear much. And the things he has said, he's, you know, I, mean, I think it was two years ago, he said a central bank is going to be uh, list their own digital currency soon. He said that two years ago. And then he reiterated it a year, another year ago. And it's not happening soon. I, I don't know where he comes with that. And hey, if it comes out tomorrow, I, I, I'm wrong. But I, and, and then, uh, what else is the other thing he talks about? Well, with this world wire, again, we have no, st I don't see statistics on it. And from what I'm hearing here, maybe IBM's dragging their feet. So maybe Jesse Lund wasn't good, so they got rid of him. And then this is a good thing. Now they put someone in charge who can who can get things moving better or communicate better, whatever it is. Or maybe Jesse Lund is great and he's had problems with IBM and he left and then that's bad news. I don't know, but I my default guess is not that Jesse Lund was some sort of rock star. I, I didn't see it. Granted, what, what do I see? What do I know? I'm here in my house reading. You know, I don't know. Um... But I don't think it's a no-brainer that this is some sort of bad news. Might be good. We don't know. I've searched on the internet. Nobody has any idea why he left or what he's doing. Um, he, on LinkedIn, he doesn't have a new job listed, so it's not like he just jumped. Uh, they might have let him go, and maybe that's a good thing. And just to harp a little bit more on this lack of communication... IBM blocked, well, you know, a while ago, Jesse Lund did a um, AMA where he didn't answer any questions, so didn't answer mine or anything of significance, reiterated some of his buzzwords. It was very lame. Uh, I contacted IBM Blockchain. I'm like, hey, can I get an interview with Jesse Lund or, or something or somebody? And they said, yeah, great. They were all excited. I sent my questions. Get sound... Uh, you know, I'll get back. I'll get back to you. We want to. We want to find ways to collaborate. Uh, taking longer, he says. And then uh, I apologize for wasting your time, but uh, uh, we have put a hold on all IBM Blockchain social media interviews. I mean, first of all, I'm not even looking for an interview. Just. Can you answer some questions as to what's going on? So they have a social media, but they're not allowed to be social. <sighs> IBM. Now, I'm not jumping ship here uh, on on Stellar. And if you followed my, you know, listen, two years ago when nothing was real, and this is one of the only uh, platforms that had been up for three years, and this thing is for real, you know, if they fail, it's not a fraud. It's, it's <laughs> lack of... Uh, you know, it just doesn't work. I get, I get that. And and my my portfolio recommendations were higher in the past. I've lowered them over the last year or so, and down to ten percent. But my ten percent, I feel like it's on a little shaky ground here. Otherwise, I mean, the thing is, they may be wonderful and just bad at communicating. In which case, and and to be frank, right from the beginning when I liked them and they weren't even with IBM yet, there was sort of zero info about Stellar. And then all of a sudden, there's all this going on with IBM. So, you know, no news is not necessarily bad news, but it's hard to invest with conviction when you don't know what's going on. So that's where I am. Uh, you know, so like I said, my portfolio, I just made a video a few days ago saying Stellar 10%. I don't know. I haven't thought through this deeply, but if it's if you if you do less than ten percent, I don't think you're wrong. And I wonder if I don't want to be caught up. You know, Charlie Munger says one of his best quotes is, "Get rid of one of your best ideas every year because you get you know I've been so long so in love with Stellar and it's done great. Am I just hanging on for that old dream? 
or is there something really here? Maybe I'm just too strong with the 10%. I don't know. Now, one last thing they mentioned that was interesting. He mentioned in the video, Jed McHale, they, they, they're, whole, they're having inflation. They have this 1% inflation. The idea was to print new money and then people in a decentralized way would point their inflation to valuable projects so those projects could be funded. Nobody's doing that. I don't even know, I didn't even know that was the intention. I mean, I think I remember reading that and I just, what everybody did, which I did, which I even made a video suggesting, take the inflation and point it to yourself. And it's like, what the point, what's the point? I thought they were using some of the money for something internally. Turns out it was just to fund other projects. Nobody's doing that. So I think he, they're sort of hoping to eventually get rid of the inflation. But someone has to write the code to end the inflation and then they upload it. So inflation's still here. Uh, but I thought that was interesting that it may go away. It's only 1% a year too. It's sort of a silly little thing. I mean, it's nice to get 1%. It's better than nothing, but um, may not last. That was the other interesting thing from this video. I uh, recommend you watch it. And I think... Oh, yes. No, did I talk? I did talk about this. Yeah, that's everything. All right. Thank you. Let me know your thoughts.